This coastal is the literal definition of insanity. Kinda Ka, a Six Flags Good Adventure in New Jersey, is no smooth coastal, but it's intense and fun as hell. In this review, we will be talking about Kinda Ka's pros and cons, so don't forget to subscribe if you want much more high quality roller coaster footage and content. But with all that said, let's get into this review. Five, four, three, two, let's get it! Yeah! In the car is an intimate strata coaster in Jackson, New Jersey. It is a very short ride, but it still packs a f punch. I mean, it deserves to have a 54 inch high requirement. This coaster is not for kids. If anything, I feel like it should have a 55 inch high requirement. Like I said, it is a super short ride. I think it's only like 30 seconds, but it makes good use of that 30 seconds. But now let's get into stats. King the Car has a speed of 128 miles per hour, a height of 456 feet, a track length of 3,118 feet. And is the tallest coaster in the world and the fastest in North America. If you look at it from afar, it doesn't look that impressive. But man, when you stand right next to it, you can tell it's 456 feet. King the Cart starts off by taking a left and then right turn out of the station. Onto a transfer track, which also, if you really pay attention to the wheels, you can feel the train going under the transfer track. But then you take a dead stop at the launch track. This is like the most intimidating stop ever, just knowing you're about to go 128 miles per hour and 456 feet into the air. It's so scary to the GP, but me being a coaster enthusiast, I think it builds up adrenaline, which I love. You stay there for about 5 to 10 seconds, then you hear arms down, head back, hold on, and then you launch, which this launch isn't too intense in my opinion, but I can speak for everyone, but in my honest, in my honest opinion, this launch isn't too intense, wait sorry, in my honest opinion, I think it just feels like a more sudden skyrocket launch, but that's my opinion, anyway, once you once you get to the end of the launch track, you go up this steep incline as you go into a 456 foot top pad. And as you go up, you feel mega G-force. It's not enough to make you gray out, but it's still a lot of Gs. But then once you reach the top, you slow down a bit. But here's the con, okay guys? At the top of the launch, there's a trim break. So if it wasn't though, I bet you'd actually get airtime, but once you go down, but once you go down, you go into this 360 degree spiral, which doesn't really do much, it's there I guess. And then you go up a 129 foot hill, that's too big and spread out to give it just airtime, but you do get very, very weak floater. And then you slam into the brakes, which slow you down very quickly, which is good being a 100 plus mile an hour coaster. Overall, King the Car is a super good intimate launch coaster, but now let's get into those pros and cons we talked about the at the beginning of the video. Pro is ve it's very intense, and con is it has over the shoulder strains. A pro is it's a very smooth coaster up in the first few rows. A con is it's pretty rough towards the back. I really don't think in the car deserves all the hate it gets. I mean the over the shoulder strings aren't even that noticeable. And I don't think that it's that rough if you're near the front. But for Kinder Car's final score, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. 
Kinakot doesn't deserve so much hate because the only things I actually hate about this one are the trims at the top of the top hat. But that's my review of Kinakot. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you want a lot more 4K content. I know I said that at the beginning, but this channel does really offer a lot of high quality content. But with all that said, Team Poker's perspective is out. Peace.